Alrighty, let's look at this equation. So we have seven over x equals negative two over three x plus eight. So here are the steps again for solving rational equations. We factor all the denominators if possible. Both of these are monomials, meaning it's just one term, so can't factor them. So we move on to step two. Find the LCD of all the denominators. So I have two denominators here, x and three x. To get rid of this x, I need to put an x on top. To get rid of this 3, I need to put a 3 on top. To get rid of this x, I already have an x on top, so I don't have to include another one. So my LCD then is 3x, because I can cancel out both x and 3x by multiplying each term of the equation by 3x. So here I write down my equation again, seven over x equals negative two over three x plus eight. And we multiply each term of the equation by the LCD we just came up with, so by three x. So times three x times three x times three x. Notice I'm just multiplying each term. I'm not multiplying the numerator and the denominator. So it's just multiplying each term, or in other words, you're just multiplying each numerator by the LCD. The reason we're doing this is so that this x is a different color maybe. This x cancels with this x. This 3x cancels with 3x. And here for 8, there's no denominator, so nothing cancels there. Let's write down what we have left. So we have 7 times 3 equals negative two, that's it, negative two plus eight times three x. Next, we have to foil out or distribute if possible. So if there's anything to multiply, we multiply. If there's anything to distribute, we distribute. So seven times three will be 21 equals negative two plus eight times three x is 24 x. We've done that. And now the next thing is multiply out the products and then combine like terms. Well, there are no products and there are no like terms on either side. So we copy down the equation as it is. But what we could do is move the negative two over to the other side, which actually is the very next step. Solve the resulting linear or quadratic equation. Remember to set the quadratic equations equal to zero. So here, all we have to do is move the negative two over to the other side. So 21 equals two, negative two plus 24 X. Yep. So move the negative two over to the left, which makes it 21 plus two equals 24 X. 21 plus two is 23 equals 24 X. Divide both sides by 24 to solve for x, and you get x equals 23 over 24. Now this is a potential solution. We don't know if it's a solution or not. This is just a potential solution. How do we know if it's a solution to the equation? We check our answers, or the potential solutions, in the original equation. So never one that you came up with yourself after doing some manipulation. So the original equation was seven over x equals negative two over three x plus eight. So you have neg uh, seven over 23 over 24 equals negative two over three times 23 over 24 plus eight. Now, some of this you can actually hand off to your calculator. You don't have to do all this computation by hand. Let me show you what I mean by that. So on the left-hand side, we can keep change flip. So we keep the seven as it is. We change the division to multiplication and we flip the denominator. So we get 24 over 23. Let's leave this as it is. Equals negative two over. Now let's simplify this fraction first. So three times 23 would be 69 over 24 plus eight. So the left-hand side, I'm going to leave as it is for now. And the right-hand side, we can do keep change flip again with negative two keeping the same, changing the division to a multiplication, and multiplying by the reciprocal. 
Now what you can do is you can use your calculator to just type in 7 times 24 divided by 23, which gives us approximately 7.304. Now this is not the exact answer. The decimal value keeps going on and on forever. 3043478826. But I don't really care about that part. If the beginning part matches and the rest of it seems reasonable, then you're fine. For the right hand side, we can just do negative two times 24 divided by 69 plus eight. And that gives us the same thing, approximately 7.3043478826, which is the exact same thing I had here. That's a true statement. That means 23 over 24 moves from becoming a or moves from being a potential solution to now being the solution to this equation.